and it's still all right by Nathaniel Rateliff. It's going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the third fret of the guitar. That's where the uh, recorded version of the song is capoed. There are live versions of him playing it capoed on the second fret. So capo wherever you want, but if you want to play with the recorded version, you need to capo on the third fret. The intro is going to begin droning on a C major chord. I've got my ring finger on the sixth string, three fret relative to the capo, one, two, three. Ring finger, six string, third fret. Pinky finger, five string, third fret. Second finger, four string, two fret. Open three string. First finger on the two string, one fret. Open one string. And uh, the video that I saw of Nathaniel Wright with playing this, he was just playing without a pick, just using his fingers. So uh, the intro is just done with kind of using your thumb in a down up, down up, down up fashion across this chord. And then there's a riff that happens in it. In your up down motion, you'll you'll lift up your second finger, strum across it, and then hammer down with your second finger. This is while the down up down up is happening. So it sounds like that. And then after you hammer on by moving uh, by lifting your second finger from the fourth string and then hammering it down to the fourth string second fret, you immediately then lift it again and hammer down onto the third string second fret. And then you'll lift your second finger and kind of emphasize that open third string. And then you want to emphasize the open fourth string and then hammer on with your second finger back down onto the four string two fret. happening. All right, and it does that twice. Whenever we get to the verse, the verse is going to be an A minor chord. You've got an open four string, your second finger will be on the, I'm sorry, you've got an open five string, your second finger will be on the four string two fret, your ring finger will be on the three string two fret, your second, or your first finger will be on the second string one fret, and you'll have an open one string. Um, this, the finger pick pattern through these verses will emphasize a an alternating pick pattern of open one string, open two string, open one string, open two string inside of the strumming pattern of like the way that I'm doing that is I'm plucking with my thumb the open five string then I'm flicking down with my first finger across the rest of the chord. And then on the up, I'm catching the open one string. And then I'm flicking down again with my uh, first finger. And then on the next up, I'm catching the second string. So thumb, flick first finger, then I'm kind of just catching the top half of this chord and hitting thumb again, and flicking down with my first finger and hitting the second string where my first finger is. And that is the rhythm across the entire song as we change chords. So the first chord is the A minor. The second chord will be an F major where uh, you move with your ring finger to the 5 string 3 fret, pinky finger to the 4 string 3 fret, second finger stays on the 3 string 2 fret, or no, I'm sorry, your second finger moves to the uh, 3 string 2 fret, and your first finger stays on the 2 string 1 fret, and here you're beginning on the 5 string, you're wanting to avoid the open 6 string here. Sometimes in this chord you can hear Nathaniel lift up his second finger and do a little hammer on there to the third string second fret. And then it goes to a C chord. Your first finger remains where it's been this whole time and you just move your ring pinky and second fingers down one set of strings. So now your ring finger is on the six string three fret, pinky finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the uh, four string two fret, open three string, first finger two string one fret, open one string. And this is um, 
-hmm. On this C chord, it holds it for like one count longer than you think it would. But those are the beginning of the verse chords. A minor to the F to the C. To the A minor to the F. And then you've got... So what that is, it's a G to a C to a G to a C to a G to a C to an F. But the way that it's happening, you're going to move for the G with your ring finger to the sixth string three fret. And I go thumb down. Kind of the same picking pattern, but uh, on the up, I've got to catch with my first finger to the two string one fret. And then after you catch that two string one fret in this G formation, you immediately move with your ring finger to the five string three fret and second finger to the four string two fret. So you've got, and on that down, you pull off your second finger to expose the open four string and then immediately go back into the G. So you've got, does it like three times and the fourth time it goes to the F chord, the same F chord as before. And then to the C chord and holds the C chord before another round of the verse. So big key to all of this is just the rhythm of and letting your first finger either be catching that open one string and fretted two string second fret, or in the G, that two string first fret. I may have just said two string second fret, I meant two string first fret. All right, there's a bridge in the, uh, there's a bridge in the song that will go G, just kind of a drawing on a G to a C chord, to a G chord, back to the C chord, the G chord, and you can hear a little hammer on from time to time in that, to the C chord, back down to the G chord, and the last time of the bridge, it then goes to an F chord. And in, the, in this F chord, a lot of times it's the same F chord as before, but a lot of times I will grab the six string one fret with my thumb, just to kind of flesh that out a little bit and make it slightly fuller sounding. But then it goes back to the C, and then I think to a G maybe, and back into the verse rounds. And then eventually it ends again with the riff of... So those are the chords and the movements to And It's Still Alright by Nathaniel Rateliff. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.